the uh, championship full drive ladies and gentlemen we are about to witness the main event of this evening it's a light heavyweight category bout for the blue corner i would like you to welcome the fighter from croatia Mladen Kujunji! centimeters weighing in 95 kilograms the record has 38 fights 27 wins and 11 losses 
fighting for Team Dynamite Fight Club coming from Croatia. Blue corner, Mladen Kujundic. <laughs> Alexandro has 31 years, height 1 meter 88 centimeters, weight 95 kilograms, 20 fights in the record, 13 wins and 7 losses. Fighting for the team, five stars. From Moldova in the red corner, Alexandro Borduja! And now, since the belt is removed and before we proceed to the bout, please stand up for the national anthem of Croatia. Ladies and gentlemen, please give honor to the national anthem of Moldova. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is the main event of this evening. A title defense, light heavyweight category, up to 95 kilograms, five rounds, three minutes, K1 rules, referee Mihai Nani. Ooh, look at that. 
Could Eugene's left him high and dry on the high five. And we are going to have ourselves a championship fight, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Yes, five we go. rounds. FIA Championship full drive from Kishino, Moldova. And the World Lightweight Championship on the line in this one. I'm sure these two know each other very, very well after their previous confrontation. And I wonder if that changes the strategy a little bit, Alexander. Yes, he start with the kicks and hard kicks. Oh, boy. <laughs> you can feel this one. These two have thunder and lightning in their hands and feet. Cracking low kick there from the Moldovan. This is a light heavyweight bow, but it looks like two heavyweights in there. Yeah. Especially Kun Eugene. Boy, he has really filled out. Eugene looked like a mound. He is just a mountain of muscle in there. That left hand definitely found the way in around the corner there from Buruduja. Yes, good body shot. How surprised would you be if this one went the full distance with how powerful these guys are? You think we'll need the full five rounds? No, I think that this fight will, will be a, around the two or three rounds, no more. It could be, but do remember, ladies and gentlemen, that they went four rounds the last time they fought. It went to an extra round. And so if need be, they can go the full distance. Yeah. But the way that they're throwing in there right now is just nasty. And we see how powerful these guys have started this fight. And I think that oh. we, we don't see a full distance. I heard that low kick by Borduja, and you can just instantly, and there it is again, you can see the swelling yeah, and the reddening right. already yeah. on the left side of the thigh of Kunyunjic. Oh, and another big shot by the champ. How I know, uh, last couple of years, uh, Borduja have trained in Germany. Borduja roughing him up a little bit on the inside, attacks the leg once again. Kunyuji's just eating those kicks right now. Oh. Good left hand by Borduja. Again hitting the leg. Boy, he is really working. Good the, uppercut. The lead left leg there of the Croatian end of round one. I think in first round, Borduja looks much. Yeah, Borduja off to a good start here. Kunduji is kind of almost sleeping there in, in round number one. But you know what happens when you wake up the bear, maybe, what you're going to yes. get. Maybe this was his game plan. You know, it is a five-round fight, so maybe he's just pacing himself. There's no hurry here. Uh, neither guy really pushing the knockout at this point. So perhaps they are pacing themselves for a longer fight, if necessary. And done. Alexander, when can we expect you to be back in the octagon? I think uh, after New Year, I will sign the new contract because uh, now I have uh, my last fight on contract with the UFC and now my manager uh, work uh, about the new contract because uh, UFC, my matchmakers uh, have uh, said that they very interesting to have they a new They want you back again? Yes. And uh, now they work on a new contract, and I think in February or maybe in end of January, I will be back in the Octagon. All right. Because I'm very hungry. <laughs> so are these two light heavyweights are hungry for the gold, yes. and they are really going at it here right now. Oh, my. Oh. So hard. Hard shots upstairs, and then Borduja digging deep with that low left hook to the body. 
Back and forth with low kicks now. Oh, Konyujic with almost pulled the trigger when Barduja's back was turned. I think that this Croatian guy is the wake up. Yeah, it's time to wake up and get to work here. The back stops. Fight. Because Borduja is going after him here in round two. Stop. Fight. Half the time expired already here in round number two. Another good low kick. Those things are just adding up. Oh, and the big guy goes down to the canvas there. Hey guys, don't forget this K1 rules, not MMA. Right. <laughs> Long range shots there from the champ. More low kicks. Oh, he caught one upstairs. Konyunjic has yet to really open up. Yes, we see that champ work more in Thai style. Yeah, and it's working too. Nice little nice uppercut. uppercut. Snuck it right in there. Oh, whoa! Big Good powerful shot. Closing seconds now. Fight. That almost turned into an elbow. Wait a minute, that may have been a little bit late. But nevertheless, the end of the second round, and uh, we still have yet to see Kunyunjins really wake up here. Borduja kind of took over there in that round, landed some big, powerful shots. Take another look here, ladies and gentlemen, some highlights. Round two, Whoa. almost all Borduja. Got in some good shots upstairs, continued to work the leg, and really not a whole lot coming back yet from Kunyuji. Still three rounds left, though, if we need him. I think if he's going to wake up, though, now's the time yes. to do it. He can't afford to keep taking now's off. The, uh, this is the time yeah. to wake up. Exactly. If he wants to win this fight. Oh, the lovely FIA ladies doing their thing here as we get ready for round number three, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, round number three. I want to thank everyone joining us now on FIAFights.tv, streaming around the world for this one. Glad you're with us. Kun Kunyunji's good shot shoved halfway across the ring there. Borduja always the first to strike when they come towards each other. Oh boy. Nice shot oh. by Burguza. What if there's not something wrong with uh, Kunyuji? Is he some? Maybe he has an injury of some sort, or is something? He's just not into the fight mentally, or I don't know what it is. He doesn't seem himself today. I don't know. Maybe this all this pressure of, of Borduja. Because on the first round, uh, on the first his uh, fight, Borduja don't was uh, so impressive, yeah. so active. Produza changing up his stance too from time yes. to time. And I, I want to say that I like this new style of Borduja. Well, he's working here. Yes. And another oh. swing and a miss there from Kunyujic. Another big swing and a miss. He just cannot find the target here unless he's right inside in a clinch. 
Ooh. Wow! Oh. That was a weapon of mass destruction, ladies I and gentlemen. I don't right understand there. how these big guys stay on the legs. Fight. Because this was so powerful, so crazy. Punch. There's One another more. big overhand right that time by the champ. Fight. Working the leg inside and out now. He's just gonna give Kunyunjic a new tattoo here. Yes. Not only is the damage accumulating on the leg here, but he's also just scoring point after point after point. Crowd coming alive here. Yes, but look on the knee of Kunyunjic. Oh yeah. It's not only the thigh, it's also the knee, too, and also the inside of the leg now. End of round three. Another great round here for the champion, Alexander Podruja. And my, my opinion that it's three now. now. It's three zero, it's gotta be. Nobody's knocked down. And so according to the rules here, we, the next most important scoring criteria is overall damage. And that's gotta be in favor of Burduja. Yep. And also ring control, he's ahead on that. Normal normal scoring techniques, not a whole lot of spectacular techniques, but all the other scoring criteria. Yeah, look at this punch. Yep. Oh, man. The only shots that Kunyujic is landing is when they're inside in a clinch just before they break. He's hitting him with a shot inside. That's just about it. Take a look at this crowd here, ladies and gentlemen, in Futsal Arena. Great atmosphere here tonight. Incredible organization and setup uh, for this event as usual. First class all the way as we move into the championship rounds. Round number four. Boy, listen to the slap. Even when he's throwing it at like half speed, you can feel those kicks just going in. Oh, man. Oh, he nailed and him that time. Left hand straight down the middle. Oh, good oh. Eugene. Maybe he has woken up here. Too hard. Here he comes Punch. now. Kunyujic is coming alive here in round four. I think he finally decided to fight Alexander. <laughs> yes. He was saving that energy for some time, and I think he's ready to explode now. Maybe his strategy was to let Borduja punch himself out, let him get tired a little bit, and then open up in the later rounds. Well, this is about as late as you can get. It's round number four. Now we see first blood on the face of Kunyujic. He has nose. Looks like it's yeah. busted here. And oh, man, alive! The power of these two is scary. Kunyujis has certainly woken up here in round number four. Oh, and backs him up there as he slipped a little bit. Ooh, Kunyunjic with a powerful shot downstairs. Kunyunjic putting on some pressure now. Borduja is having problems with his footwork. I don't know if he's got wet feet or if he's slipping on some water, but he seems to be losing his footwork here. Yes. Oh. And look at him, he's slipping and sliding all over the place here. He can't stay up. Kunyujic, another powerful blow upstairs. This is a completely different round now. Borduja continues to slip and slide in there. Closing seconds here of round number four. 
Less than seconds. Whoa! Oh my! Kanyujic unloading at the end of round four. The most powerful shots of the fight, and Berdusha stumbling back I to his think corner. In this weight division, it's very, very big problems you can have when you give down your hands. Oh this yeah! It's a big mistake. Take another look at this action here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the we were wondering when Kunjunjic was finally going to step on the gas, and boy, did he step on the gas in round four. Kunjunjic just took a very slow and deliberate beating for about three rounds. Something snapped inside of him in round number four, and he just decided he'd had enough, and he just dominated there in round number four. But is it too little too late? Yeah. Take a look at the left knee there. Look at the swelling on it's the left black. knee there. Yeah, it looks like there's a baseball underneath the, the skin on the left knee of Kunyujic. I don't even know how he can stand at this point. And the same on the shin of the Burduja. Oh! These two are really playing with fire here right now. Fifth and final round, ladies and gentlemen. The FIA World Light Heavyweight Championship hangs in the balance. If this nice thing, hook by Burduja. If With nobody knocked down, if this thing goes the distance, it's probably going to be in favor of Burduja. Yeah. And I think that Kunyujic needs a knockdown here in order to and win we, the fight. And we see that he may go... Oh, oh, no. And the referee's counting him. He got it. He got the knockdown. This crowd is not very happy about it. This referee is going to get booed out of the building here. That's huge, though. That completely changes how this fight is going to be scored. I think uh, if you don't be knockout, we will see one more extra round. It's possible. It's definitely possible. Unless Kunyujic can knock him down again, and that would seal the deal for him. Whoa! X kick. Oh, Perdusha coming alive now! Perdusha's not done yet! Oh my goodness, these two big light heavyweights going at it here, toe to toe in the fifth and final round. Berdusha slipping again. That was a slip, but it really didn't look good for him. He continues to lose his footing. Kunyujic has him rocking and rolling here. Oh my, punishing blows right on the top of the cranium. Oh, no. Look at this! Big bombs being dropped in there! Inside 30 seconds now! Now is the champion round. This is... Who have a much more character. Listen to this crowd! Kunyujic went for it all there! The flying knee, Bardusha! Doubled over in pain! Closing 10 seconds now! Kunjujic thrown into the ropes! Who will be declared the FIA Championship? Light heavyweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, the judges will decide! It will be done so easy to make it decide. I don't know about this one, Alexander. This, this is a very difficult one to score. The first three rounds, I think you, you've got to go it's with Burduja on the cards. 10-9. But Kunyujic scored the knockdown in round number four. And that will be 10-8. What about round number five, though? I think Kunyujic had his moments. But then Borduja had a little bit of a comeback there, and then it was a wild brawl, 
I have no idea how this one's going to be scored. It could be very, very close. We might be looking at a split decision. We could be looking at an extra round. FIA President Doreen Damier in the ring right now to present the belt. championship belt to the winner. It could be deja vu. We could have another extra round here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's wait and see how this one goes down. Well, it looks like the judge is still deliberating over there. And uh, it looks like we do have a decision. Vladimir Arkochi stepping into the ring and let's send it up to the ring and get the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the judge's decision. It was a split decision. There's no extra round here. By split decision. The winner is Blue Corner, Mladen Kuyunji! And now we have a the new, new champion of the championship, champion Mladen Kuyunji, Croatia! And light heavyweight division. Kuyunjic has done it and he by takes split the belt decision from the president of because of the knockdowns, perhaps. Doreen Judges Doreen. leading in his favor, and he is the new FIA Championship World Light Heavyweight Champion. That is two straight victories for Kuyunjic over Burduja. Both very close fights, but Kuyunjic has done it on two separate occasions. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, to Miladin Kunjujic of Croatia, your new FIA World Light Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, that was all for today via Championship Full Drive. Thank you for watching and now for a photo I want to invite to the ring. All the fighters of today's doubts. The undercard, Pavel Kolokolov, Ukraine. David Kiperi, Moldova. Gabriel Postolaki, Romania. Maxim Dereli, Moldova. Ion Kirillov, Moldova. Ion Russo, Moldova. Adrian Ciobano, Moldova. Pavel Barbanova, Moldova. Razvan Barbaro Barboso, Romania. Anatoly Gavriluk, Moldova. Igor Zadorozniak, Moldova. Maximus Bezenutza, Moldova as well as the fighters from the main card. Francesco Carnimeo in Italy. Denis Kvastitsky, Moldova. Eduard Korol, Ukraine. Cornelio Lissi, Moldova. Francesco Sette, Italy. Denis Tapo, Moldova. Mehmet Ali Neric, Turkey. Artyom Livodari, Moldova. Soner Shen, Turkey. Dmitry Zerbo, Moldova. Adrian Maxim, Romania. Francesco Pica, Italy. Hasmik Asadrian, Mar Armenia. Funda Alkais, Turkey. Mladen Kujuncic, Croatia. Alexandro Borduja, Moldova. The last two fighters are already here. Guys, come back to the stage for a group photo. This was FIA Championship Full Drive. Thank you for being with us, and we're waiting you next time.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up here for FIA Championship Full Drive. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in 2023. My name is Daniel Austin. Good night, everybody.